again it's makes from the next creation what do we have today can your employer renew your contract or renew your cut ID without your permission or without your approval yes or no it depends on which kind of situation remember let us try let me try to give you a background of what happened or the situations that imagine if it came on your table it was unavoidable at that time and that was a period that we had what we call the COVID-19. I know most of you between that period contracts might have expired but you only uh, you only praying to to you only praying at that time that your employer can renew your contract without even your concept or without even asking you. That is one situation. Because that was a critical period that everyone needed to stay wherever he was and to continue doing the work such that he can have bread or he can have something for his family or for his life or for his future at the end of it all. So what does it mean? That most of the times now, according to the labor law, according to the labor law uh, in Qatar, no employer is allowed to renew a contract without your permission or to renew your reasons Peter without your approval without your permission remember the residence visa or what you call the cut id or residence visa is renewed every year uh, it's renewed every year so meaning that every time it gets to expire your employer will need to give you what you call um, a request it will give you a request form for you to feel that you want your id to be renewed at one way or the other and if you accept definitely is going to renew that at one moment of time but still something that you need to know the situations whereby your employer can renew your residence or your contract without your consent depending on what kind of agreement was there in the first contract that you sign as you're joining the country you're joining uh, you joining the company for example if you sign what you call a limited contract or if you sign what you call unlimited contract it will definitely depends on on those two scenarios on those two uh, two situations that you have at a time but at most of the time for the companies i've seen is that wherever they need to renew or they need to renew or cut id definitely they will give you what you call a request form for you to fail to accept to acknowledge that you've accepted to renew your cut id one of someone who would ask me or one would ask me the question what is exactly the reason why this employer has to give you that uh, that that paper or that request paper for you or that form for you to fill to 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 acknowledge uh, what you call the approval to acknowledge that you've accepted to renew a cut id one of the things is that most of the time this cut id renewal take money or they have given amount of money taken for renewal so meaning that if you accept to renew that cut id with your employer and you don't tentatively tend to finish up the cut id as required that employer has a right to detect to deduct the amount of months left the the amount of money that you deduct will be equivalent to the amount of the amount of months that are left on that id let's say for example your id is expiring in october or is expiring your id is expiring in april and you get to you get to terminate it or you get to resign within this period then that means he has to deduct the amount of money from your gratitude or from your bonuses at uh, that amount to the remaining months of um, the id that is actually the reason and it's also one reason that shows it safeguards them and keeps them within itself in case you get to have a problem or disagreement in one way or the other and you don't have to agree so meaning that your employer can either accept or can either renew your contract uh, without even your approval and you've seen many people that have uh, they've been done that and you find yourself without even accepting you find yourself as one id expires you find yourself you have another id with you meaning that there is a subsequent renewal of the contract indirectly without even the concept or without you having that concept in mind so meaning it is either safeguarding you, it's also safeguarding the employer, but it will depend on situation A or situation B. For example, I gave you an example of the situation where we had COVID and people were actually saying that 
even if they don't ask me to renew the contract they should just renew it called, uh, automatically at that level in one way or the other still something that we need to note look at this period where everyone is at the side that he needs to take or he needs to make sure he keeps his position and keeps his job definitely imagine a situation if your employer came at this time and is telling you can i renew your contract or not renew the contract tell me what you would say definitely i know 90 percent will say please sir go ahead renew the contract so we are looking at those contract situations that may cause such kind of situation and uh, may lead to that employer renew your contract without approval thank you so much it's mix from the mix giving you all the updates and giving all the information by the way don't forget to support and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to put a comment in the comment section I'll always be very happy and more than happy to get back to you see you again in the next video it's mix